Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 19 and 20 of Omegami oh SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 19 in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, I mean, because she trusts you. Money. Never that far away. Where are we going? All right, so you want to know how I currently feel right now? <laughs> okay, so mind you, I got my ass up. 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., getting ready for today, getting the work ready and such. Because I'm like, all right, got to get shit done today. At, you know, my new training-ish like that. And then, um, I get started. I was there no more than about an hour going on my second hour. And then something happens that pissed me off. And it's the, it not only happened to me, it happened on another computer. And company wise so I told my coach after he had a conversation with my like um the lady who I'm supposed to be talking to I said I'm going home I said like, because no offense I, I, and I didn't say it to him but in the back of my mind I was like I felt like my time just was wasted so I'm really really irritated with this company this is now strike two I'm praying to God there's not a third. Because if there's a third, I'm not going to be a happy person. I already got a bad taste in my mouth with this company, and I don't fucking like it. Oh. Are you making him low TT? Green tea? Are you okay?
Good. Ooh, that would be nice too. Yeah, because yeah, you have to essentially be in the moment. But music would be nice. <laughs> something still tells me by the end of this like with their happy ending Junichi is gonna join the tea ceremony club and they're gonna get more people but these two are still gonna get together and it's like that because obviously though huh <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hot. It's like cooking in a way. Well, at least he didn't grab her boob this time. That is the one day that I would literally just screw, like, I would say fuck being on a diet. But the biggest thing that I've now kind of learned, especially like in the last couple, between last week and this week, I'll even say, the calorie deficit, deficit thing, am I saying it right? Um, I, I would take a half. You earn it. Because you know how, like, there's some, um, I would say health critics or just, like, someone who go, like, a health coach. There we go. Um, most people say, like, oh, no, don't go out and eat. Don't go to a restaurant. Don't go to a fast food restaurant and such. Still, you know, go out. Because that, that happens. It happens. You just order either a smaller version of what you normally get or you get the bigger version of what normally you get and you just eat half. And then you save the rest for later. Really? Okay. 
know. Well, other things, because she wants to confess to you. Lord. <laughs> Not a porn video, oh my god. <laughs> the porn video of the year, oh my god. Anyway. Hmm? And I ate it. I did. talk more about the exercise thing at the end of this episode but be ready I ain't gonna make it too too long <laughs> Mia's not there. Mm -hmm. And you're getting in a towel too. Oh, and watch shoes at the door. Oh, no!
Fuck the diet. <laughs> Everything has a lot of calories at the end of the day. Love song. He fall asleep too. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in the end, you won though, but it would have been better probably if you came around midnight. Extremely bad.
Oh, <laughs> of course we don't go in with that tarot. That's so freaking cute. Okay, this was so freaking adorable. Like, yes, they all got to hang out for years and such, because, like, duh. It, even though he was trying to be like, all right, let's go. You wake up my sister. I'm going to get ready. We're going to go. And then he went back to go get the gloves that she made. Excuse me? Bye. Like, my, my heart. Good fucking bye. Like, bye. Like, oh my god. Like, chop, chop, chop. Like, that was so freaking sweet. And then he comes back and he sees that both of them are now asleep. I feel so bad for him because he tried. He was like, yeah, let's go. I'm excited. And then, you know, the hunt becomes the hunted because we all go to sleep too. But no, like even the fact is like her, like their date at the restaurant where Kauri works, um, she's staring at the cake and she's like, I want it, but I can't have it. I, I know how she feels and such. That ass, because I, I love anything sweet. I do have to avoid sweet sometimes and such, but my weakness it's cheesecake. I love the shit out of cheesecake. Like, cheesecake is just so freaking good. And people are like, no, that crap's disgusting. And I'm like, no, no, no. You just don't have an exquisite taste. Cheesecake is good. Always good. The best dessert. Chocolate and cheesecake together. orgasm <laughs> no but at the same time I do want to try like cream puffs and everything else you know the, the, the day I go to Japan it's just gonna be like it, it's gonna be good for me because then like I'm gonna buy everything but at the same time it's gonna be bad for me because then when I come back I'm gonna be like god how much weight did I gain on this trip, it's like, fuck. <laughs> but okay, no, going back into the situation of weight loss and everything, and especially diet wise, um, with me, I and I think with everybody else, we've all tried like those quote unquote fast diets. I think growing up, a lot of us tried like the Slim Fast or the Weight Watchers and such. Weight Watchers is really successful. I have heard really good stories and then I've heard some not so good stories and such. I used to, well, I technically really wasn't in a part of Weight Watchers. My mom was. Um, but because of the fact is, like, at the time I was in school, I was still in, like, elementary, middle school at the time. Because I, I was, we were, we were still living in here. And I think Weight Watchers came out in, like, mid-2003, 2004. So I was still, I was in, like, third or fourth grade by the time I moved to, well, I was in fourth grade. Um... I think she did it like yeah so I was in third grade here going to Nebraska also third grade so um I did we we had the meetings here and then obviously when I moved to Nebraska we also had meetings there and then I think there was one time which like kind of stopped and stuff because there's a lot of things now it could possibly be different would I ever try it myself I'm not really sure because there are pros and cons with it because what may not work for you may not work for somebody else um I, I fucked that up. What may work for you may not always work for somebody else. There's always different things. Biggest thing is, like, I like to drink water. Yes, you see me right here. I, like, I'm literally almost done with it. That's a Coke Zero. Uh, I think a vanilla Coke Zero that my mom got me. After the day I had, yes, I deserve this because, oof. Um, but <laughs> I, I normally try to drink more water because water keeps me hydrated. I feel more awake when I drink water. That's why, like, I literally try not to drink soda in the morning because I'm not iffy with soda in the morning. And that's too much sugar to have very early in the morning, depending on when you wake up. Um, but another thing that I said, especially if you ever go to a restaurant and let's say, like, your order is, is big. Like, the last restaurant I went to for a... Well... Yeah, I can kind of say that. Um, we can say, where did I go? I went to, I think I went to Longhorns, but I don't want to tell that one. Um, I went to, so this was like Christmas of last year. This is around the time when me and my coworker, 
uh, was like recommending uh, we were recommending each other anime stuff and I recommended her um I think Spy Family and something else and then she recommended me Dr. Stone hence in case February of this year I started Dr. Stone and look where we are um I don't remember what the hell I ordered at BJ's I typically order like a simple thing and stuff like that but BJ's and um Cheesecake Factory and a couple of other um typical sit-down restaurants like they give you a big heavy portion of something now yes when they give you like the breads and everything else and stuff like that's something you can munch on still drink something you know your drink and everything because by the time you get to your main freaking course you're already kind of really full maybe you eat like a good couple of bites maybe half or like a quarter of your meal and then you save that so that you instantly either have like lunch or dinner for the next day another thing i've also you know heard as well meal prepping even though i'm i don't like always meal prepping and such like but now the fact is that i have i'm working and such again and i have to take a lunch with me again um i have to kind of do that and such <laughs> Uh, but yeah, 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 definitely do a lot of things. Make sure that you, like I said, always get your water and shake. That's the best thing. I would always say that clears your skin, your face and everything. Cause like I, as a girl, I, I hate at, at the age as a woman, I hate at the age that I am at and I still get acne. Like show for can watch. I hate it so, 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 so much because I, I still have, like, semi-clear clear skin, but I just hate the fact when I get acne. It's, like, the worst fucking thing in the world. And I'm, like, ah, and stuff. Um, but also, one other thing I will say before we go into the next episode, Nish, because regardless, this was a good episode. Um, with food, I would say, so if you're eating in the morning, let's say whatever breakfast, let's look up breakfast sandwich or whatever, I don't know. Um, make sure you're kind of, like, snacking in between and such because then by the time you go to lunch you're not as hungry because you know you've still been snacking or you eat the whole meal that's fine and then you snack when you get home it's like that that's what i've also heard snacking in between will always help so do that the more you know thank you for coming to my tent talk. <laughs> go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 20. all right episode 20 and three two one, go. Excuse me. I'm guessing she's been busy. Juanchi has probably already been busy as well, too.
But you want to be with him, don't you? <laughs> you know, I hate now I'm kind of getting hungry. I mean, I ate like kind of two hours ago. I had a bagel. The bagel was originally supposed to be my breakfast. Once again, the day I've been having. Is it? Why a door? Yeah, what a Hanukkah do? <laughs> Join the club. Oh, it's <laughs> That's so messed 
up. a possibility. Really? <laughs> That's such a lie. Mm-hmm. Just not always consistent. Make it almost like special occasions. It's a reward at the end of the day. You treat yourself. I'm saying that to you guys as well. Treat yourself. Whether you have a good or a bad day, treat yourself. Like, dead ass, I wouldn't go to the store and go get something. I should have got it while I was at the store, but because I was so pissed, I was just like, I'm going to fuck home. Fuck this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think, but he's already been in them in like other timelines. <laughs>
<laughs> Not the lonely. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, and besides, the childhood friends to lovers cliche, eat that shit up, yes! <laughs> Any, really, honestly, any love type that it is, uh, I eat that crap up. The enemies to lovers? <laughs> no. <gasps> well, you know, curious minds are wanting to know. You, obviously.
You still did good, baby. Mm-hmm. Very thankful. No, honey bunny, don't cry. No. Mm hmm You got this. So it's up. So, but do you eventually tell him your feelings? Like, oof, we're, we're almost done. And there she goes. <laughs> At least, okay, it, it didn't end with them together, together, but the good thing out of it was he's officially a part of the tea club. That's sweet, but I, it is a little different. I say that it's a little bittersweet that they didn't really end together because, once again, it, you're, that's what you're hoping at the end of this because they look like a couple even without the fact that they're not really a couple, but I still enjoyed her arc. Her arc was really sweet. Yes, it, it went to home, definitely with the, the diet, weight loss thing, because, of course, I still struggle with that and such, because I am 
I am curvy. Ask. I, I like. I would love to be hourglass shaped, be in the right proportion. So, like, because my biggest thing is that I hate is my stomach. I I hate, 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 hate my fucking stomach. And so, I want to be like healthy in a good way. I don't want to be super, super skinny. I just want to be skinny but healthy in that determined. Like, she's so cute that, like, to me, she doesn't need to lose weight. She looks cute just as much as she is. But even at her age and that standard and such and what beauty standards are and then the things that you hear on the news and such, um, that has, like, a backlash and stuff. I think the biggest thing growing up here in America, because I can't say for anybody else, uh, who's next? Oh, it's her turn! Oh, Sukasa, she's so pretty. I like the Um, but if I had to rate her, mm, God, I'd make it like probably a three or a four on that scale and such. This was still good, but there were, I still had problems. But as I said, um, <laughs> my, my thing is, like I said, tummy, ish like that, want to lose weight, want to be at a healthy proportion where I am not like, not, not too fat, but not too skinny and such. And so the biggest thing is with beauty standards here in America, because like I said, I don't know if it's the same anywhere out of the US. When I was a kid growing up, um, seeing people I looked up to, not my, not my parents, not my friends, uh, you know, I'll say a little bit of my friends, but it's like a different thing. I never really like looked up to my friends. I would say just being around certain people. So looking up to like celebrities, cause I'm still like that today. I love the shit out of pop culture and everything. Um, the beauty standards of that, the things that you would hear on the news, pop culture news, whatever, and seeing how all these pretty, pretty women and these pretty girls and such, even girls who are around my age, so my peers and everything else, and sometimes even my friends, and seeing how skinny they were and such, and saying that, oh, like, hey, if you're heavy and such, you're not pretty. The standard now is completely different of what it used to be. The the more positi uh, body positivity, like, don't get me wrong, I really love it, but there are some times where it's, like, it gets a little too much and such. Like, I feel like, to me, people um, people might say, like, oh, girl, you're beautiful and such. Da -da -da -da. Like, you look fine the way you are. But at the end of the day, like, my mind and how I think and look about myself is still completely different. Like, once again, yes. I, I am still confident as fuck because I always am. Um, but there are some days where it does get the best of me and I feel extremely bad about myself and such. Like, I remember one time, um, I was at the gym or my mom and I were going to the gym and I think she was registering and such. And I thought they were going to do, there, there's this weird looking scale of everything of like, oh, if this is your height, this is what you should be weight wise. And I think like the doctor has done something like that and such, or, I remember when I was getting, um, I think my very last physical for, not for school, but just like in general, because of the fact is, um, I didn't go to school, I didn't go to college <laughs> and such. And so the Navy needed me to do like this one last thing and such before they kind of cut me off of my dad's insurance and stuff, which is, is stupid, but we'll talk about that another day. Um, and, um, or... It went good, but still, like, heart, heart just critic as myself. Or my my biggest thing is that I really, really, really can't stand is family members. Um, because they always say the ones that hurt you the most are the ones that you love. I won't say my mom, because my mom is always the kindest, gentle woman. Love her to death. My mom will never say, um anything bad and stuff she'll be encouraging and she'll do it in a loving way and I love that 
but there are other family members who will say like snarky or like crude comments and or just people in general who will say rude snarky comments and stuff and they don't think that that shit hurts but it does and it affects you that's why sometimes like with certain people I cannot like I I can't with certain people in my life and I have to kind of push them away and place them on like a back burner like on a scale but like <laughs> I don't feel like talking to you right now so fuck up leave me alone and such but the fact that this hits so so deeply to home so fucking close to home like oh my god I'm, I'm not ready for this like but no this was a really good arc for her I think this is also a good arc for me to watch and stuff um I just still like I, I don't know food wise like <laughs> but no like I said we said it in the last episode eat in moderation if you get a big meal eat half of it say the rest of that shit watch your intake even journal what you eat be mindful and once again treat yourself mm hmm treat yourself <laughs> other than that guys that's why I actually towards episodes <laughs> next of Omegami SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matches Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturdays for Patreon and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 21 and 22. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!